All right, guys, some sad news today for me, at least. Um, you know, I'm always trying to try things out. I didn't see a video on how to install the porta pack case. And you might know where I'm going with this. Uh, when I turn the screen to the side, you're going to see a nice crack right along that side. If you can see it right, let me turn it off. And you can see it right there over here. Now how this happened, I, I want this video to just be a lesson. I was going to do a series on how to install the porta pack case, you know, because I'm always trying to come up with some things that can help other people out um, along the way with their HackRF journey or SDR journey. And unfortunately, my screen is broken. I bought a case. I wanted one. I could see the nice Mayhem porta pack Got this clear one. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't see a lot of others where I was looking, and uh, it ended up being that they had these fins here that are super, super tight. Um, and that's just another lesson. Anytime you're working with your screens, make sure you got plenty of room. Um, so that's what happened. I even pulled them apart to make sure they didn't like push down on the screen, and the fins uh, ended up squeezing the screen tight enough to leave that crack there so unfortunately you know that's just how it goes when you're doing um an experimental screen installation which the seller that i dealt with the company did not have the actual model numbers it's that 3.2 inch screen porta pack fits well that's what i got i got a 3.2 inch screen porta pack and no it does not fit uh, and I even had to grind away part of my hacker F board to get it in the bottom of the case. And, you know, it's a good possibility they maybe had tried it on different manufacturers. See, because the thing is, you got great Scott gadgets, then you have several factories making different variations. There can be slight differences, even possibly slight screen differences. So you never know what you're going to get. And it's really you know, ideal to just get it all in one kit. Because if you're going like me, which I got it as a gift separately, so I ended up having to go through all this anyway, and I figured I'd share the journey with you guys. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't go as planned, so I'm just going to toss out the uh, videos I recorded on installing the screen because obviously I don't want anyone to experience this. And that's why I'm uploading this video, just to remind everyone that it's always easier if you get it all in one and be very cautious where you buy your cases for devices with a screen because it doesn't take much pressure on the side of a glass screen which if you note know, it's just flat glass here so it's not like protected or anything now my touch screen doesn't work whatsoever i hit this and i get some other message so you know it really sucks but you know i really want to thank members who have you know, helped support this channel because that is what I did to buy things like the case to experiment with. So I buy hardware to experiment with, with those who support this with the buy me a coffee page, you know, the money I put right back into, you know, coffee or hardware that I can use for video tutorials. So thank you guys so much for being a member to those who are a member out there, and I'll be back later with more videos on the HackRF. I'm just, you know, I'm really bummed out today because it ended up breaking my screen, and I really hope I'm going to be able to use my HackRF because at this point, the touch screen doesn't work, but the buttons seem to be fine, so, you know, obviously it was just the screen that got damaged. But yeah, that's how it goes, you know, when you're, you know, doing experiments and videos for a channel. Sometimes things don't go well. Well, I decided to share this video anyway, just to help others not make the same mistake. That's what I got today, guys. Make sure to like, share the video, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on how to protect your security and privacy.